Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number four from the June 2023 International A Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P1 exam. This question, part A here, is about this expression in SERD and index form, which we have to rewrite in the form y equals a x to the power of p plus b x to the power of q, where a, b, p, and q are constants to be found. So basically, we have to take this algebraic expression, which is written as one single fraction, and split it up into two terms and write it in this form with the x's in the numerator, in index form. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rewrite this uh, fraction um, as two separate terms. So I'll take this, I'll write y equals, so I'll write these under that same denominator, so 5x squared over the cube root of, now you've got to be very careful here, both the x and the eta underneath the cube root sign here. Okay, plus you got the square root of x cubed over, again, the cube root of 8x. Now we're going to use some of the laws of indices. Now this 5x squared is exactly how we want it to be. That's fine. But this cube root of 8x and this square root of x cubed, I'm going to use the laws of indices. Now I know that the the um, the square root or the m mth root of a to the power of n basically in third form can be really written in index form as a to the power of now here we'll have a fractional index the power is the numerator of the fraction of the index and the root is the denominator because that's how that works All right so a to the power of n over m that means a to the power of n and the, the mth root of that okay so if we if we take for example the square root of x cubed basically here you're going to have x to the power of three over now there's nothing written here but there's actually a two here there's a two there which when you've got the square root it doesn't have to be written so that means x to the power of three over two so that's that part over there and you got the cube root of eight x now i like to deal with this in two separate ways i know that the cube root of eight is easy for me to understand that's going to give me two and we've got x, we've got the cube root of 8, which is basically x to the power of 1 third. The power is 1 and the root is 3. So this gives me, this denominator will be 2 x to the power of a third. So we can say that y equals 5x squared over 2x to the power of a third plus, and this is going to be x to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 2x to the power of a third. So now we have simplified everything and made it into kind of index form from third form. Now we have to write it in the form required. So we have um, basically, we can write this as five over two. And then we got these two, which is like when you divide two numbers, so this is like x to the power of two divided by x to the power of a third, you, you subtract the power. So it's it's going to be x to the power of 2 minus the third as a power. When you divide two numbers in index form with the same base, you subtract the powers. So similarly over here, we're going to have, this is like 1 over 2, the actual constants, and we have x to the power of, and we've got 3 over 2, take away 1 third. Okay, so we've got to subtract those powers. So we have y equals 5 over 2 times x to the power of, now 2 minus the third, you've got... 2 is over 3, it's like 6 over 3 minus 1 over 3, which is 5 over 3. x to the power of 5 over 3 plus a half. x to the power of, now here we can make them both over 6. Okay, 3 over 2 is like 9 over 6. Okay, um, multiply by 3, multiply by 3, and 1 third is like 2 over 6. That's going to give you to the power of 7 over 6. So, we've got a, b. A is 5 over 2, B is a half, P is 5 over 3, and Q is 7 over 6. And there is the answer to the question. So that completes question number what, 4, part A here. Okay, so you have to be good with your indices and deal with, um, you know, understand how to change from index form, from third form into index form here. Okay, so that's something that's important in this question.
Now for part B, it tells us hence, means use what we just found, which is this. Find dy dx giving each coefficient in its simplest form. So now dy dx is when you differentiate. So when you differentiate, you multiply by the power and you take one from the power. So you multiply 5 over 3 with 5 over 2, x to the power 5 over 3, and we've got to take away 1 from that. Now, if you take away 1 from 5 over 3, it's like taking away 3 over 3 from it. So I'll write it in that form to make it easier. Plus, multiply by the power, so you have 7, 7 over 6 times a half, x to the power of, and again, you're going to take away 1 from 7 over 6. It's like taking 6 over 6 from 7 over 6. That's equal to, equivalent to 1. So now we can say um, dy dx is equal to, that's going to give you 25 over 6, x to the power of, that's going to be 5 minus 2, 2 two thirds. And here you're going to have plus, nothing cancels here either, so 7 over 12 times x to the power of 7 minus 6 is 1, so 1 sixth. And there's the answer. Okay, there's your answer to part B. Uh, pretty simple again, not, not too much of a hassle, just you have to know how to deal with indices and, you know, how to subtract and add fractions for you to get these numerators correct. I know a lot of you will just stick that in your calculator, but it's good to know how to do this, especially when it comes to other topics later on, just to make your life easier. Okay, so there we have the answer to question number four completed from this June 2023 Pure Mathematics P1 International A Level at Excel paper. Um, other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here. Other questions from um, the topic of, I guess, uh, differentiation will be under differentiation will be in this playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and you can find um, other material on my channel easily if you watch this video it will tell you how to get there thank you for watching and see you soon